Colin Kaepernick has come out in support of Meek Mill. Now, Meek Mill is a star rapper who was charged with violating his probation for riding a dirt bike and for breaking up a fight. That's what I was told, breaking up a fight at an airport. Both of those charges were thrown out. But the judge, Grenice Brinkley, said, hey, I don't care if they're throwing them out. I want to charge him anyway. I want to violate him, even though he's at like the, the 12th hour, the 11th hour and 49 minutes of his pro probation duration. So the quarterback described Meek Mill as a victim of systemic oppression and wrote a lengthy statement on Instagram and Twitter that also touched on how the legal system favors white people. He says this, this was Colin Kaepernick. Meek Mill is a victim of the systemic oppression. Yes, there needs to be action surrounding sentencing reform, but there needs to also be action taken around abolishing the radicalized norms of injustice that can lead to Meek Mill serving two to four years for nonviolent parole violations. Hmm. And then he references Brock Turner. Now, Brock Turner only served three months in prison for three felony counts of sexual assault. And Brock Turner must be a white guy. I don't know Brock Turner. In context, Kaepernick, who initiated the national anthem protest, pointed out the case of former Stanford swimmer Brock Turner, who was found guilty of sexual assault but served just three months in prison, bringing out the argument that black people were more unfairly treated by the justice system. Okay. So here goes my statement on this, and um, here we go. Meek Mill has done a lot of time for his probation, on his probation. He has been not involved in any of the issues that landed him on probation, which I think were guns and some drugs or something. So that was almost 10 years ago, close to it. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, that's the type of issue that I think would be in, that, that would violate him or should violate him back. If the prosecutor and the, the probation officer both agree that this charge is not enough, should not be enough to send Meek Mill back to prison or violate his parole, probation, why would the judge decide otherwise? You know, I think we need to look at Grenice Brinkley. We need to look at her motives here. Is her motive to get some notoriety out of this case? I mean, what really is it? To sock it to Meek Mill? Stick it to him, so to speak? She said, I remember hearing that she said uh, she felt that Meek Mill had thumbed his nose at the law. He was riding a dirt bike, and he broke up a fight. He wasn't robbing a bank or dealing drugs or toting handguns. So well, how was he thumbing his nose at justice? See, this is the type of thing, you know, and I know there are a lot of people who are blaming Me Meek Mill for his situation. And I get that while you're saying it, right? You're saying, hey, Meek Mill, keep your nose clean. Meek Mill, what's wrong with you? You got too much to lose. I understand you're living in that world, but you have to understand that he does not live in your world. Meek Mill can't just stay in the house and order pizzas. He's got to go out amongst people. He's got to attend shows. He has to perform. He has to go to the recording studio. What would you have the man do? He rode a dirt bike while shooting a video. Bad decision, I guess, but gosh, people do that in my neighborhood from time to time. But they're not on probation, Tim. They're not Meek Mill, Tim. My point is this. If the judge... And look, the judge is there to pass judgment. I'm not. But if the judge wants to take a stand for our legal system, maybe in the in the spirit of why the laws are the way they are, they should be to prevent dangerous people from doing similar acts that got them into the legal system. So in Meek Mill's situation, folks, unless he goes back to dealing drugs or goes back to carrying guns, I think that we need to calm down on the whole you got what you, you know, you get what you pay for type scenario. You know, our justice system is not fair and balanced. There is a overwhelming lopsided situation with who's in jail. That's predominantly poor people and predominantly people of color. 
That's the way our system works. Now, if you say you're woke, by all means be woke and recognize the reality of prison and recognize who goes to prison and why. Whenever someone wants to uh, support the prison industrial complex, I always remind them, I rarely, if ever, see rich people going to jail. And there's a reason for that, whether you are too blind to see it or not. So with that, I say free Meek Mill, unless he gets caught dealing coke or dealing drugs or toting guns, I think he's met what he needed to meet in order to avoid that prison time. And that goes for anyone else, not just Meek Mill. You should not be violated on a damn jaywalking or spitting on the ground citation. That's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments section.